Nicosia is the first, is the first global market-based measures for any sector. So ICAO is the first to introduce the COSIA as the uh, economic measures on the whole sector and represent a cooperative approach that moves away from the patchwork of the regional or national regulatory initiatives. ICAO encourages all member states to participate in COSIA for its voluntary phase. The more states that participate in COSIA, the more emissions are covered by the offsetting requirements. ICAO is taking steps to ensure COSIA effective implementation with assistance, capacity building, and training. We call this Act COSIA. With assistance, capacity building, and training, Act COSIA support. And with the leadership of ICAO, along with member states, industry, and civil society partners, we are also successful in reaching a historical agreement on the collective long-term global aspirational goal, we call it LTAG, of net zero carbon offsetting for international aviation by 2050. Distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon to all of you. I'm honored to be here today with you at a very important seminar. I wish to congratulate Tom Santagree, Multimedia, hopefully I pronounced correct, for organizing this seminar to promote the road to net zero carbon with a keen focus on investment opportunities to reduce gas, greenhouse gas emissions. Earlier this morning, we observed very prospective insights from the public and the private sector representatives approaching net zero carbon at the policy level in energy, agriculture, trade, and finance, as well as business opportunities through carbon credit. I'm pleased to kick off this afternoon session with a keynote focusing on aviation and tourism sustainability. With the tourist members, numbers close to 40 million pre-COVID placing Thailand as the world eighth most visited country pre-COVID, Bangkok as the world most visited city, and the tourist receipts accounting for more than 11% of GDP of Thailand. It is evident that the tourism is a significant economic contributor in this country. post covid tourist arri arrivals are expected to resume, and with that, aviation expected to resume as well. It is uh, crucial that this be done in a sustainable manner. Indeed, we need to build back better in the post covid environment. The International Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, synthesis report has already indicated human-induced global warming of 1.1 degrees Celsius has spurred change to the Earth's climate with more widespread and severe impact on peoples and ecosystems. With that in mind, it is imperative that aviation takes on strong climate action. ICAO, as international civil organization, organization is well placed and do so. It serves as a multilateral platform for cooperation on international aviation environmental protection with one of its core focus to limit or reduce the impact of Asian greenhouse gas emission on the global climate. So I'm talking about COSIA. The speakers this morning spoke about carbon credit. The ICAO carbon offsetting and reduction scheme for international aviation, we call this COSIA, is the first, is the first global market-based measures for any sector. So ICAO is the first to introduce the COSIA as the uh, economic measures on the whole sector. And 
represent a cooperative approach that move away from the patchwork of the regional or national regulatory initiatives. Throughout the offsetting of carbon emission with emissions unit from the carbon market, as well as reducing emissions with the use of coal share, eligible fuels, it is a fine example that the decarbonization effort at the multilateral levels. At this stage, coal share is a voluntary, voluntary scheme. But we are pleased to note that participants of 122 states today, with the Thailand as a one of them. ICAO encourage all member states to participate in coal share for its voluntary phase. The more states that participate in coal share, the more emissions are covered by the offsetting requirements of the scheme, and higher its environmental effectiveness becomes. In addition, ICAO is taking steps to ensure coal share effective implementation with assistance, capacity building, and training. We call this ACT coal share. With assistance, capacity building, and training, ACT coal share support. This done with the contribution from member states through the body participations, partnerships, model regulations, frequently updated training packages, and also FAQs and seminars. So now I'm talking about long aspirational goal, LTAC in ICAO. Add with the leadership of ICAO, along with member states, industry, and civil society partners, we are also successful in reaching a historical agreement at ICAO's 41st session of the ICAO Assembly last October on the collective long-term global aspirational goal, we call the LTAC, of net zero carbon offsetting for international aviation by 2050. The net zero carbon emission LTAC is a significant milestone for the international aviation sector. It is a consistent with the support and the temperature target of Paris Agreement. While recognizing that LTAC is a collective global aspirational goal that does not contribute, to, does not attribute specific obligations or commitment in the form of the emission reduction goal to individual state. The assembly, ICAO assembly, urged each state to contribute or to achieving the, the goal in the socially, economically, and environmentally sustainable manner and in coordinates with the international circumstances. Real robust technical basis underpinned the decision on the LTAC. This was done through the depth, in-depth LTAC report published in March 2022 after more than two years of work, which developed several in integrated scenarios to cover range of readiness, sustainability, and aspirational of aviation in-sector CO2 emission reduction measures. The achievement of IOTAC will rely on accelerated adoption of the new and innovative aircraft technologies, a streamlined flight operations, and increased production and deployment of sustainable aviation fuels. So we are focusing on fuels, aviation fuels. Based on the LTAC, the scaling up sustainable aviation fuel, SAF, lower carbon aviation fuels, LCAF, or other cleaner energy sources are expected to bring out a largest the largest contribution enabling the sector to achieve its net zero LTAC. However, the challenge to scale up, to scale, scale up the, the production and distribution of these fuels is massive. With this in mind, ICAO launched on 1st June 2022 the assistant capacity building and the training of SAF, they call it ICAO's XSAF program. The XSAF program will support state in development and deployment of SAF 
and cleaner energy sources for aviation by providing tailored assistance that may include feasibility of audience, policy and regulatory development, and specific SAF implement implementation project where potential green funding may be sought. Under the umbrella of ICAO coordination, XSAF will facilitate an, uh, an establishment of partnership among states and relevant stakeholders, including PTT. We are pleased to mention that Thailand is already XSAF partner with that growing is more than 130 states and organizations. I'm also excited that I learned Thailand development in SAF, Thai Energy Collaborate, Bang Cha Cooperation, together with other stakeholders, have kicked off the country's first SAF production facility, readying for commissioning by the end of 2024. The last is the state actions. In addition, ICAO encouraged to work directly with the member states to support development and update state action plans to reduce CO2 emissions from international organizations, outlining their innovations in the technologies and the cleaner energies, policies, actions, and roadmaps, including the long-term projections and ensuring the use of best available data supported by ICAO guidance and tools. By leveraging the long-term aspirational goal, integration into the state action plans, states are expected to develop a cleaner roadmap for planning and investing in the new technologies and infrastructure to reduce aviation carbon emissions. Fully qualified action plans may also be used to monitor the achievement of LTAC. I will also enable, it will, it will be also enabling ICAO to assess state needs and tailor the appropriate capacity building and implementation support measures. To, to, date, to date, we have 139 member states. So ICAO member states, 193. One of the 139 member states, including Thailand, have voluntarily submitted such action plans to ICAO, representing more than 98 of international aviation traffic. These results demonstrate that a high level of interest and participation by ICAO member states in this effort, as well as the positive impact of ICAO assistance and capacity building efforts. While State action plan remain an important tool to in coordinating and communicating national plans of climate action for international aviation. They also serve as a key tool for ICAO to assess states' program towards achieving their collective global aspirational goals. I encourage the local industry stakeholders to work closely hand in hand with the state authorities in support of this effort. Finally, we are discussing about collaboration with industry. To conclude, net zero innovation calls on close collaboration between states, industry, and civil society. And I believe following what we have all heard earlier today, we are all con conscious of the challenge as well as opportunities ahead of us. Working together is a key. I would like to briefly mention one of the most visible examples of ICAO engagement on aviation environment with stakeholders, namely the ICAO Global Coalition for Sustainable Aviation. It is a forum of the stakeholders aiming to facilitate, to facilitate the development of the new ideas and accelerate accelerate the implementation of inno innovative solutions that will further reduce carbon emissions at the source, both on ground and in air. ICAO is uh, pleased to fulfill with the important multilateral global coordination and convening role 
In this regard, ICAO will also continue to effort in cooperation with stakeholders to achieve International Aviation 2050 net zero goal. So I wish you a thoughtful and engaging afternoon as we explore aviation net zero at ecosystem and business strategy level levels. Thank you very much. Carbon, carbon crack.